The Parts of Mumbao, 1979. I believe the tour guide got it right. Let's see. I'm correct. The TARDIS was pictured right here. I suppose I could stick around for a bit. Fascinating place. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Hmm. Bit quiet. Oh, so sorry about that, sir. I was just starting my shift. Oh, have I arrived a bit early? Well, excusing the time, we aren't exactly used to the visitors around these parts. But the ports of Montbell are beautiful this time of year. The water is due to freeze around this time. No luck today, I'm afraid. Would you like a seat? Is it just you? I'm afraid so. Oh, okay. Follow me. So, how long do you plan to stay for? Only a day or two. Oh, here you are. The best seat we have. Glad I came early. Here's the menu of today's specials. Oh, lovely. I'll have, well, seeing as I'm here, why not try the mackerel with a side of scallops, please? Fine choice, sir. You can call me the doctor. Okay, fine choice, doctor. Well, it's time to find out this new body likes seafood. I completely understand the circumstances that we are under, supplies a short mayor, Chapman. Your schemes are turning friends into enemies, Rachel. Our economy is crashing. Your project is deterring tourists altogether. You must know that what I am doing is for the best. What's happening now is a sacrifice that must be made. That's what you told me last year when you pitched this... contraption. But now, it is time to stop thinking about what might work, but to focus on the certainties. Our priority is pulling the integrity of Munbil back to its former glory. That is what I am trying to do. You're thinking long term. I need to think about what's happening right now. The people living here took a chance to live away from the mainland and basically live on the water. So, excuse the pun, but we're drowning here. You're being narrow-minded. Excuse me, Rachel? If you attempt to stop this project now, I will not be responsible for what follows. How dare you threaten me? You can do nothing. I am the mayor. Goodbye, Mr. Chapman. Mayor Chapman? Rachel! Rachel, don't you turn your back on me! Rachel! (laughs) (laughs) Rachel, what are you? You will not stand in the way of my plans, Chapman. Ra- no one ever will. R- Rachel. No, no, I'm not Rachel. My name is the Rani. <sighs> what a shame. Such a waste. This place may be worse for wear now, but soon it will be. Wait. No. That blue box. So, my old friend has arrived. Hello, Doctor. Oh, my word. Did you enjoy your meal? Please give my compliments to the chef. That was delicious. Of course. Thank you, Doctor. No, no. Thank you. Phew. Now, let's see. There must be a hotel of some sort here.
Another quiet one? Sorry. Sorry, he was just running. Something the matter? I helped manage the hotel as well. What? How many people are living here? Twenty. Only twenty? Yep. But the brochure I've got says that there's at least 100 people who, who are living here. Your brochure is wrong then. Mm. What caused this? Our economy crashed. Funding in the wrong places. What sort of funding? Just science projects, really. I don't know much about that stuff. Very intriguing. You say you're called the Doctor. What are you a doctor of? Quite a few things. Science being one of them. Either way, I booked you in. Your room number 13. Thank you kindly. I need to work fast. It won't be long until he finds me. That should do it. Here you are. Thank you so much. It's a lovely room. Oh, why, thank you. I'm afraid I have to return to the diner now. Mouths to feed and stuff. Of course. Good luck. Let me know if I can be of any assistance. Nonsense. You're our guest. Goodbye. What a lovely young woman. I knew it. I knew it wasn't by coincidence that I'd be here. Someone here is messing with extraterrestrial energies. Coming from below the ocean and the laboratory. Something's not right here. Darlene mentioned a Dr. Martens. Perhaps I should pay them a visit. The ways are getting tougher. There's a storm coming. What is it, old girl? Locked? I have a cue mark. What's happening here? It's escalating. The systems aren't ready yet. What systems? Who? Who are you? How did you get in? I had a free pass. See? What is that? It's a blank piece of paper. Oh, you're good. No wonder the mayor has endorsed your little project. There's nothing little about it. Who are you? Professor John Smith. Sent in by the mayor a few days ago to oversee the project. Funny. He never mentioned you. There's probably a good reason for that. Well, what are you overseeing? I've got everything under control. I can tell from all of the alarms bearing. Care to stop what you're doing? Thank you. I've been told by the mayor that this project is of great help to these ports. He was lying to you then. He wants this project shut down. Oh, how peculiar. Be honest with me here. You want it shut down too. I recently booked a room at the hotel just across the way from here. I met a lovely young woman named Darlene. Do you know her? You're changing the subject. I'm not. Go with me. Do you know her? No, I don't know Darlene. You see, she's running both that, that hotel and the diner a few doors down. Don't you realize how problematic that is? I do, but I don't see what this has to do with me. Your project has drained this community's resources. The economy is crashing, Dr. Martins. That's up to the mayor, not me. I don't think you care. Excuse me? If you cared, you would have known who Darlene was. How am I expected to know everyone here? There are only 20 people living here now. Did you miss that? I've had enough of these distractions, Professor. If you want to play these games, go and play them with someone else. There is work being done here. Good day. You're working on something temporal. Are you building a time machine 
by any chance. No, I am not. Now get out. All right, all right, I'm leaving. (sighs) Professor John Smith, will he ever learn? I'm on to you, Doctor. Apologies for the wait, sir. I understand working multiple jobs, I imagine. That's correct. You're new? That I am, just visiting. I was wondering if I could see the mayor. Any particular reason? Just to tell him that Professor Smith is here to see him. Of course. I shall buzz up to him now. Nap time. (laughs) Not at all, sir. If you could just excuse me, I shall go and check now. Of course. Mr. Mayor? Mayor Chapman? There's a Professor Smith here to see you. Sir? Oh my god! Mayor Chapman! Good god! Go downstairs, Mr. Raymond. My name's Raymond. Raymond, go downstairs and call the authorities. Do you know what meetings the mayor had today? Just the one. Dr. Rachel Martins. But she's no killer, Professor Smith. Very well. Go! Go! All right. These shards. What happens if I... Interesting. I recognize this weapon. A ninja star with emblems on it. Hmm. Hmm. Look to the writing in Hindi. Hindi's not too good these days. I've called the police. They're on the mainland. They could take hours to arrive. The killer could still be here. Very well, Raymond. But look at this. What's that? It's a ninja star. Do you know anyone with skills to use these? No. No, I don't. Tell me about Dr. Rachel Martins. Is she new? She was once... Then as everyone does, she became part of the family. Only recently, since her project began, she's been distant. So she wasn't born here? No. This happened years and years ago. She was apparently found drifting around the ports of Munbell. She was unconscious, and she barely had a pulse. She recovered quite quickly and stayed with us. And now she's working with temporal energy. Perhaps she's a lost time traveller. Her ship must be buried in the ocean. Sorry, what are you talking about? Just talking aloud. Raymond, how are you with translating Hindi? Um, I'm not fluent, but there might be something at the local library. Please, go there and translate what's on this in your star as quickly as possible. Are there... Any other residents who lived here for longer, if not the same amount of time of Dr. Martin's? Unfortunately not. You've met Darlene, I assume? Yes, I have. She was close to Dr. Martin's when she was a child. Dr. Martin's was like an end-strange aunt to her. How do you know this? We're all a very small community, Professor. We all need a talk. Right. I see. No, wrong. Raymond, translate the engraving. Y- yes. Yes, Professor. Will do. No, no. Time to solve a murder. Well, well. If it isn't the mysterious doctor. That's me. Looking for something at the hotel, or a bit of brunch? Neither of those, but thank you for offering. Oh, something the matter? What do you know about Dr. Martins? Why? Do you want to know about her? Okay, it's a bit much to explain currently. Please try. She was close to me once. It's quite personal, and if it's all the same to you, I don't know you all that well. I appreciate that. The mayor has died. What? Oh my god. I'm so sorry, but please, I need to know about Dr. Martins. You think she's involved in some way? She's the only one to see the mayor today. His body's still fresh. Oh. Oh my. Oh no. Darlene, take a seat. There you go. 
She... She had become distant. Raymond mentioned that. Did he also mention how she was like an estranged aunt to me? Yes. He really did spill the beans. Was there anything else? Do you know how long she's been here for? Since before I was born, at least. I've not seen her in years. She should have been an old woman by now. Trust me, she's far from that. I know. I sometimes see her walking around, but she never gives anyone time of day. She doesn't look a day over 30. But that shouldn't be possible. Precisely. Is there anything else you can add? She was kind to me. She was... Darling, please. Anything you could possibly know about her now? I've not seen her properly in five years. Very well. Was it quick? Hmm? What happened to Mayor Chapman? Was it quick? Yes, it it was. Professor! Raymond, you found the translation? I have. So soon? It wasn't difficult. It is indeed Hindi. For a Hindu queen. Hindu queen? Fascinating. What's the word for it? Rani. 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 Oh no. Oh no! You know it. I do. Thank you so much, Raymond. Darlene, but I have to go. Go where? I haven't got time. What the hell is that? It's hitting the laboratory. And it's not deviating. Stay safe, you two. I must dash. Nearly there. Whoa! Stop this instant! Professor, what on earth are you doing? Stop what you're doing. No, it's the progression of science. I demand you stop right now, Ronnie. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's been a while since I heard that name, Doctor. You figured that out quickly? Oh, please. The John Smith routine, don't make me laugh. But then again, you already have. Parking your outdated TARDIS on right outside the Mayor's office. Of course, the new one in town would be you. So you freely admit you killed the Mayor? I did what I had to do. He threatened to shut down the project. What is the project, Rani? I crashed here, at the dawn of the century. My capsule sunk to the bottom of the ocean, whilst I survived. Like my new body? Meanwhile, you seem to be getting younger each time I see you. So you left here? For all that time? I had no choice. I need the technology to retrieve my ship, but the ocean has taken her. This was all because of a temporal storm in the Vortex too. Pathetic, if you ask me. Then what are you doing right now? Judging from the technology you've already presented, temporal locking me out of my TARDIS, then one can only assume that you're harnessing the temporal storm to manifest the ship above the waves. Wow, you're not as dumb as you look. I suppose that's a backhanded compliment. Please, don't take it that way. Naturally, you'll still need to switch it off. I'm just trying to get my ship back, Doctor. Then I'll be on my way. You think I'm that dumb, Ronnie? I know what the effects of bringing a temporal storm here will do. You'll either time lock this place, rip us out of time and space, or deadlock this area in a temporal bubble forever! I'll have my ship by then. As will you, no harm done. What about the other 20 people here? Make that 18, Doctor. Hmm? Ronnie, come on now. You've lived here for nearly 80 years now. You must care about these people. Don't try to change my mind. You know as well as anyone that this planet is miserable with these repulsive humans who eat their own animals. That's not quite how it works. They're degenerates. That's all they are. Degenerates? How can you call us that? Darlene! Save it, Doctor. I needed to see her. Darlene, stay back. No, Doctor. I'm not who you think I am. You helped raise me. Don't you dare call me a degenerate. You were like an aunt. I know. Auntie Rachel. But that's not me, Darlene. I'm not from here. Why should that matter? We're all strangers to Munbell to begin with. 
we find our place. My home lies beneath the ocean. My ship. Enough of this. She's activated the full receiver. For what? That's a temporal storm up there, Darlene. At any moment, the ports of Mombell could just be a far memory to everyone in the whole world. What can we do? We need to sabotage the machine, switch the positions. We need to trap her inside the ship. Silence! No, Rachel, we shan't be silent. This is your home. This was never my home. Yes, it was. Darling, no! Get back from her! Get your hands off! I can't off. let you hurt everyone I else. I must be whole. I lost my home, Darling's Dad. giving me a chance. I need to take it. What? What are you doing? Get off me! No! You need to remember who you are. Get your hands off me, you degenerate. Darling, get back. I've done it. No! What have you done? Back, feed reversal. The temporal storm will now be coming for your time print. How? How? Darlene! Doctor! Darlene! Darlene! Dar- Darlene. Ronnie! How about that? Where is she? Somewhere in the vortex now, I should think. She... She was innocent! You think you're the only temporal mechanic? Time prints are difficult to trick. A trick only works for a fraction of a second, after all. You imprinted on her? Just for a second. You killed her? Yes. Now, Doctor, you will take me far away from here. You have your TARDIS. No. You will. No, I won't. You shan't defy me, Doctor. You know what I could do to this place. Go on, then. This is a trick. No tricks, Ronnie. The authorities will be here in a few hours. They'll have questions for everyone, but not me. I won't be here. Don't you turn your back on me, Doctor. Goodbye, Ronnie. Get back here. Doctor, Doctor, please. You can't do this. We're Time Lords. You can't abandon one of your own, not on a planet like this. I was exiled here once. It was a very, very long time ago now. But it did me a lot of good. It let me think. Excuse me. Professor, what's going on? Dr. Martin's here is responsible for the killing of Mayor Chapman. And... Darling, what? How did she- The Lightning, Raymond. Don't listen to him, Raymond! You still remember my name? What? Every day you'd visit the mayor. You'd always check the little plaque with my name on. You never once memorised it. Yet, I know who you are, and Professor John Smith, and Darling. Is this important? You drove our community out. No more. What's he doing? No! Doctor, come back! Oh my god! Doctor! I'll see you again. You shall die for this. Huh? Oh, they're here early. Come on, Dr. Martins. The police want a word with you.